Hello everyone and welcome back to my uh, VeloCloud Technical channel. Uh, I'm your host Dimitri and uh, as you see uh, today I'm at my home office uh, which is something that I believe that unfortunately many of us uh, are already familiar with. However, it has not been a better time to sit back and get more training. So today I was lucky enough to receive my um, 510 um, VeloCloud Edge appliance and I'll be using that for um, home tests and overall home usage. So in this video I'm gonna unbox it for you and then we'll hop into the orchestrator to see how easy it is to set it up. So it came in this outer box branded VeloCloud I have information about uh, the device itself, uh, the part code and the serial number. And once I open that box, I got a smaller one. Again, with the VeloCloud logo and the cloud is the network written on the side of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one. We get a uh, VeloCloud leaflet and on the back some instructions that we can also find online. And then we get the Edge 510. Now, uh, again, this is the smallest physical appliance you can get from uh, VeloCloud. Um, you see the VeloCloud logo out here. On the back, you see the ports that we will connect to uh, to the upstream routers and also to the downstream uh, local area network devices, um, a slot for the uh, power cable. Um, we have some LTE antennas as well because this is again a model that allows you to insert the SIM cards directly in here. So you just unscrew that and you can insert up to two SIM cards. Um, and obviously for those of you who want to use um, third-party uh, modems, you can insert them in the USB slot here and here. Now we also do get two RJ45 cables, a uh, US power adapter, which explains the UK one. I have to see it separate from the box itself. And then also we get two antennas to be used on the back. So before I hop in the orchestrator and show you how easy it is to activate the edge, I wanted to show you this website, which is uh, velocloud.com uh, slash get started. Um, and the reason this website is important is because you can uh, select the edge that you have in front of you, like I have my 510. And once you do that, you get step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to activate it, like connect to power, connect to the internet, um, 510s also have uh, ports number 3 and 4 as internet facing, which um, might be a bit counterintuitive uh, for some of you. Um, models uh, 6 onwards actually have um, defined ports for internet and LAN. It's very easy to understand which is which. And then on the uh, bottom of the page, you uh, get an idea of uh, the static configuration you can do. Um, so in my uh, home lab here, I connect the edge directly to my uh, ISP modem um, that gives it an IP address. However, if you install this uh, in a site where there is no uh, DHCP, uh, you can then use this uh, instructions to set an IP address statically. So you'd connect via the LAN port uh, or via the Wi-Fi that the edge emits on uh, Wi-Fi models, that is, not on all of them. And then there is the website you can go, which is edge.velocloud.net. 
once you go there, you can set um, static IP addresses, uh, gateways, subnet masks, uh, and even uh, PPPoE settings. Now, I'm going to my orchestrator. Um, everything is showing zero here. It's the first time uh, I'm using it. I already have an account set up. Um, I will not go into the details of user accounts uh, and responsibilities, etc. That's for a different video. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll click configure. I'll click New Edge. Uh, I will give it a name. Uh, select the model, which is a 510 LTE, and then select a profile. Now, profiles are like templates that you can set up and then associate multiple edges with. I haven't uh, configured the profile yet, so I'm just getting the option of the quick start profile, which we'll do in this case. Um, however, if you obviously want to override certain edge settings, you can do that once you apply the profile. I'll also um, leave the certificate disabled. Uh, and this is the way uh, you can configure how the edge authenticates itself against the orchestrator um, with either things such as uh, pre-shared keys or full-blown certificates. This is my home lab, so I'm happy uh, not to do any sort of authentication. Um, however, you can choose to do so at a later stage. I'll put myself as the contact name and contact email. So this will be the person on site that will get the activation email and then will activate the edge. And then I'll also type a location for it. Once I click create, I can see that the edge is pending activation. I have a activation key that I can send to a person on site, but the easiest way of doing it is to send an activation email. So that comes from VeloCloud to that person's email address. So just a few seconds later, I see that I already got an email. Uh, it telling, it's telling me to connect to the edge, uh, either via a cable, or uh, even via the Wi-Fi, and that's probably the easiest method. So I'm just gonna click on the VeloCloud Wi-Fi. I will uh, type VC secret, and now I'm directly connected to the edge itself. Once this happens, I can simply click the activation link and that allows the edge to go through the internet, connect to the orchestrator and get itself activated. I just need to Ignore the certificate errors. Again, I didn't set anything on the orchestrator side, so I'm being told that beware, um, you know, there's maybe something malicious going on. Um, it's just my lab, so that's fine. And then uh, the edge will uh, fetch its latest um, software code. I can now hop on my regular Wi-Fi and back into the orchestrator. I can see my edge has a green light. So I can click on the monitor button and see that it is activated. The status is green. I just have one link to my ISP. And if I go back to the configure page, I can see that it is now connected and ready to take new configuration. So how easy is that? Just in a few clicks, we have gotten this edge activated. It's already up to date with the latest firmware and we can now go and configure it. 
So thank you for watching.